Okay, so the first step that you'll want to do to, let's resize the entire document first. So I'm going to hit um, Command J on my Mac, which I think is Control J on the PC. Another way to get to that is Modify Document. Okay, so let's do something like, oh, I don't know, 640 by 480. And I prefer 24 frames per second personally. So let's change that. So now we can sort of see how big your artwork is. So let's rescale it. Let's resize it. I'm going to zoom um, way out as much as I can. Let me bring my timeline back, which is on a different monitor that you can't see, and dock it along the bottom. There we go. OK. So now you can see all frames and layers. OK. All right, I wonder if there's, oh, I see. There's the rest of it. Gotcha. All right, so the first step is this button down here, Edit Multiple Frames. I'm going to click that, and you can see wherever the, wherever the playhead is, we have these, um, just, just like Onion Skin has, these uh, brackets. And what these brackets do allow you to select a range of frames. Uh, since we want to select everything, I'm going to drag it to the first frame. Whoops, I moved the playhead inadvertently. Let me just move the playhead all the way to frame one and move this bracket all the way to the end frame. Now the next step is I'm going to click anywhere on the stage here, out, away from the character. It sort of focuses the stage. And then I do um, a Command A or a Control A, which is just a Select All command. And that selects everything. Now if there's one or two layers that you do not want to edit at all, then you can just lock them but we want to keep everything unlocked and we want everything selected. So now all I need to do is, is select the free transform tool and I'm going, so now I can actually transform everything but I want to keep everything um, the, the same in respect to the width and height. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then grab a corner handle and the shift key will constrain the proportions and it's as simple as that. But of course we're way away from the actual stage area. So let's just click anywhere in the middle of it, move her up here, and obviously she's still a little bit too big, but that's just a case of scaling her a little bit more. Okay, so now let's go to view, magnification, let's go to 100%. This is what she looks like. So now let's make sure we turn off edit multiple frames, and everything is where it should be.